Hey, what's up you guys? This is AJ coming to you once again from the Thwip side. And tonight I thought it'd be fun to take a look at the different variations for the McFarland Toys MK11 spawns that have been released. And the McFarland Toys 2 variations of the Mandarin spawn. So these are the spawns from McFarland Toys, modern spawns, that I have in my collection. And there are a couple more coming out and I'll show up show some picks for those as we go through this but starting off we have the mk11 blood feud hunter spawn i believe is the re the full name then of course we have the regular variant the original paint scheme spawn and then rounding out the mk11 we have the curse of the apocalypse variant and then here we have the mandarin spawn the regular red variant, and in the back, the McFarland Toys Gold Label Edition. So I think I'll take a look at the MK11 figures first. So first off, we have the Blood Feud Hunter spawn variation, a skin in the game, the Mortal Kombat 11 game, and no new parts or anything. Of course, these are just straight up skins in the game, or... Action figure wise, just paint variants, but I think he came out really cool. And I love the white and red color scheme. And this one comes with an axe, which is cool because then I can add an axe to my collection because my regular version is the Mace variant, uh, version. And so I didn't want to pay the extra money to get the axe or the sword. So the next variant to come out actually comes with a sword so once i pick him up i'll have an axe a sword and a mace anyway but yeah i think the paint came out really cool and i just love this color scheme like i said on spawn it's really awesome but yeah just cool variants and happy to have them in my collection i am in love with this figure in general no matter what color i'm going to be a sucker and of course I have so far and I will get the Lord Covenant spawn when it comes out. But I am a sucker for this figure. It's like one of my favorite figures of all time as of right now. I mean that could change but I'm loving it. And this one is the newest Curse of the Apocalypse figure. I think he was a Walmart exclusive. And again I just love I love the um, the paint scheme on it. The colors. But what I just noticed, even though I've had this figure for like a week, I love the green around the eyes playing off in the yellow. That looks incredible. And speaking of the yellow, I just like the dirtiness of the yellow. As evident on, you know, his gauntlet. And down here. But what really pops for me on this figure is the cape. The dirtiness and the... Uh, and the cape brings out all the textures and it's just it's really cool really awesome effect but throughout the paint of course I've never had a McFarlane toy that had paint apps that disappointed me but yeah awesome just really love how this came out and like I said I will be getting the Lord Covenant spawn and he looks really cool colors I definitely really like already and i think i'm going to like i said i'm i'm a sucker for this i don't always go for variants a lot of different variants i don't mind them but this this figure i would buy over and over and i already have plans to get a couple of the first normal version to do some customizing work i've got some ideas i've been shopping around looking around to see what i could add to him and I'm thinking about making one or two custom figures out of that. So definitely getting my money's worth out of it. And Todd's getting my money for buying all the variants. But I'm happy. I'm not complaining. I don't know. I've always loved the look of Spawn. And these figures just or do it for me. I'm like, I'm, I'm just, I don't know. I go nuts over the, these figures. Just great, fantastic figure. Okay, enough gushing. Time to get into some Mandarin Spawn. Okay, so looking at the Mandarin Spawn variants, of course we have the Gold Label Edition here, and the regular Red, I guess the Red Edition variant. I mean, that's not the name of it, but the normal, normal 
release. And right off the bat, of course, besides color differences, these this weapon here is the same, except for done in a different color. It's not all the way gold. And of course, you have the red handle to match the red spawn. And unfortunately, well, I don't know. I can't tell. Well, maybe there might be a little bit of that jade color in there, but it doesn't pop like it does on that one on the gold label. I get it. There you go. Yeah, it doesn't pop as much, but that's fine. And then the regular releases other weapon is different. <laughs> We've get this. It's got some nice texture into it. And then of course the red and gold to match the figure. As opposed to this is what we got with the gold label. The golden blade. All the detail. I did a review for those that didn't get a chance to check it out on the gold label spawn when it first came out. And then to the figure itself, or figures. Now, when I first got the gold label spawn, I saw I saw that it was going to be a release, and I love blue, and I. Saw the pictures, and then when I got them in hand, I was like, I, I love I love that figure. And I really do. I love this figure. And I, I was thinking to myself, there's no need to get the regular release. I just love how the blue plays off the pearl-type or ivory-type colors. And then the fades. I mentioned that in the review. And it just looks fantastic. And, of course, all the details everywhere, all this intricate details and more ivory and it, it's just really cool looking and i didn't think i'd have a need for the regular release and then i saw it in the store <laughs> well i started seeing pictures online and then i saw it in the store and it it blew me away and here's a closer look if i can get it in there. it's all shiny <laughs> there we go i mean just look at the paint detail and it too is very detailed and there's a lot actually the more I look at it there are more differences but I like how this is like got a dry brush or a wash over it to dirty it up to like tinge the gold to make it like bronze paint apps I always get confused on what's what for techniques but you do get I have trouble with the glare today you do get some more of the ivory in places down here so all the intricate details there but it's kind of plain in the back but there's differences one thing that really stands out to me is this cloth or you know like this loincloth type piece coming down it looks so much like actual cloth i almost called it cloth here but it's not it's a rubbery material but it looks i it looks just like cloth i thought it was and it looks fantastic just it's all textured it's just incredible to me how much that i, I had trouble believing it's not cloth but i like the dragon and the details but and this one's okay too but you can tell that it's like a rubbery plastic and of course, let me move this out of the way here. Let me fix this. I'm trying to keep them posed a certain way because I had, but uh, you can see the differences in the cloth. This one actually has more detail, but the texture and everything on the original is fantastic. And another thing you'll notice right away are the shoulder pieces are totally different on both sides. I mean, totally different shoulder pieces. I mean, you got a spike here. And go back. If he doesn't fall, that's why I didn't want to move him around. But you can see, he's got a spike here. He's got the spike here. But shoulders are totally different on both sides, which I thought is really cool. 
And actually, the face is different, too. You got the teeth here. And then the teeth here are sticking out that way, where these are up. The horns are different. This is a Spawn logo on his forehead. Another ivory piece on that. So, really cool. So, really, even though it's a variant, per se, it's really not. It's just a, it's pretty much a, a totally different figure. I mean, if you only want one, it'd just be up to you which one you chose. But yeah, there's so many differences I'm finding just looking. Because this figure, there's a lot to look at on these figures in the first place. So, the more you look, the more differences you see. Which I think is cool because even more so now, I've got two just about totally different figures. Same aesthetic, very happy. Uh, I recommend both of them. If I were to choose one right now, now that I have him in hand and I opened him up, I've had him for a while, I opened him up and messing with him a little bit this evening. It's hard. Color for me wins here just because I love blue and the ivory playing off the blue is really cool, but I don't know. That one, uh, I, I really can't make a decision so i'm me personally i'm glad i have them both so i don't have to make a choice and wish i had one one or one or the other i'm glad i have them both tongue tied <clears throat> excuse me and they are coming out with a gamestop exclusive um mandarin spawn it's supposed to be kind of like a deluxe figure it comes with more weapons a shield i'll put a picture up and that one uh, Hard to say. I figured. I heard it was coming out. I've seen pictures of it. Um, I don't know. That one might, unfortunately, be a miss for me. Just because... Uh, the easiest way to say it. These are very detailed. There's a lot to look at. A lot going on. Very interesting. Get your eyes fixed on them. And just a really awesome look. From the pictures I've seen of the GameStop exclusive, it looks too busy. It looks like there's just too much going on, and your eyes kind of meld it into a big blur. It's pretty much the colors of the regular release, but different head sculpt once again, different weapons from what I can tell so far. I didn't really study it too much. I will be picking it up, but I have a feeling that it's just too much on the eyes but you never know in hand it might blow me away so i apologize for rambling but i love these figures I also, that's it i won't say it anymore i promise but i really do um like i said gonna pick up the other two variants on the way and i will be getting a couple of the originals like i said to do some customs and i will make sure i share what i do with those figures and see what you guys think about them hopefully you enjoy them <laughs> it'll be my first time really doing any kind of custom work but really excited for that as it comes to fruition so that'll be it for now just a short comparison video minus the length of my rambling but i hope you guys enjoyed this and please consider subscribing comment on what you think of the figures and don't forget to thwip that notification bell, and I will catch you all, you guys, all back here again on the thwip side. Later.